It's um, turquoise. It's my mother Janice and my sister Janice. And then today our topics are, is it a man's responsibility to pay to cover all the financial needs during a relationship or a marriage? Kevin Hart and his disrespectful comments towards his daughter. Gabrielle Cedebay's engagement. Uh, the Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. fight. Is there a influence from the LBGTQ community? And then, why do people give you things that they know doesn't work? <laughs> okay, so let's start off. So, I was watching this show called Ready to Love. And the um, girl, I think her name was Naya, and the young man named Chris. And they had like an awesome connection from like day one. So then this last episode, things kind of took a turn um, because she asked about finances. She felt like a man should basically cover all the financial needs. Now she didn't say like I'd rather be like a stay at home, you know, wife, mother, whatever. So I took it as she still wants to be able to collect her coins and have him pay for everything. Um, you know, he thought things should be 50-50, which I, I agree. And I thought it was really highly messed up that that made them stop them you know, from having yeah, a connection. Because she didn't want to no, no longer date him. Um, what, do you, what is your opinion? I should have been paid. I think it should be 50-50. Because for one thing, if he leaves, you only got to come up with the other 50%. But if he take care of you fully, then when he go, you ain't got nothing. Well, t for me, I think 50-50 is fine. For, I think it's just different for some people because, like, in some situations, like, you go 50-50, but the man still expects for you to submit to him and could cater to him, bring him his plate first, and cook and clean, and take care of the kids. If y'all going 50-50, all of that work should be 50-50. If you're going 50-50, y'all would split him cooking? Yes, split that's what I'm saying. He was I'm like, out. I think when it comes to 50-50, it should be all the way, because it seems like people that push that 50-50, everything has to be 50-50, are also the same people. Well, women need to submit. Women need to, you know, cook and clean and take care of the kids. I'm like, how? I'm working just as much as you do. Mm -hmm. Why the hell I gotta do all of that and and submit to you? No, we submit to each other. If we're gonna do 50-50, you submit to me and I'll submit to you. And just from that uh, situation, from that show, he actually didn't mind like, you know, cooking, bathing the kids, that kind of thing. But it, it set me up, so I'm like, and then me and you were talking about this yesterday to you. It's like, well, she might as well just be by herself and yeah. she has to split things. Yeah. 50. And I, I think that's well, not, especially if you want a partner. It, to, it depends you want, on the person. I don't watch that show, so yeah. I don't know these people. Well, if you want a partner, me. like, that, that should be. And matter. that's submitting I think, stuff. I don't know. Most people I know don't submit anyway to no man. And I think people do That's it. like pushed a lot. The, uh, in fact, they say a lot of black women are single because they don't. But I, I think people We're single do because it. we refuse to buy you gifts and, <laughs> and, and pay your phone bill and pay this for you. That's why we single. You want to know the truth. But I, I think That's so you ain't mean being a sugar mama. Well, hell, you don't see too many black sugar mamas then. But I honestly think women do I think women are submissive, and I think that they do it without they have to do it. being conscious that they're doing it. Like you mentioned earlier, the whole bringing me a, a play thing. Mm -hmm. Just as like if we're like Thanksgiving just passed. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, we would make our brothers plates. You know, we, and not saying that we're submissive to our brothers. I just, just saying, thought that was do, the thing to do. Right, you do we think, cook you the food do it without like, consciously being aware you, that yeah. you're doing it. I don't think so that's submitting stuff yeah, like that. So I don't think it's. I think people have their own take of what it is to be submissive, and mm -hmm. I definitely think a guy could. I think men can be submissive. Submissive basically like means uh, basically doing whatever. You mean. That's what I was trying to say. So I don't know too many people like that. I don't. I don't know how y'all is in relationships. But you know how I am. Well, I, what I'm saying, <laughs> I don't know too many people like that, and I don't know too many men that's with a woman that want them to do but that's that. That's what I'm saying. Like I think people do it. Without recognizing that they're doing it. Because I don't mm -hmm. think that's a men. I think that's just like the thing to do. No, it's like you'll be kind to you. You'll do things for people out of the goodness out of your heart. Mm -hmm. Not that you're expecting something out of it. Yeah. But 
what it is is when it's demanded. When you feel like, when somebody feels like you're obligated to do this for me, that makes you not want to do it. Like, I'm doing this for you because I care about you or I love you. I'm going to make sure you're taken care of. But if you get to the top where, oh, you're obligated to do this or you have to do it, it's your job. So that's so different. That's what men are saying or oh, something like that. Yeah. Well, I, I definitely think that. But I don't, think I'm not against 50 50. I think if, as long as y'all working together, that's fine. But when. A lot of things that's preached to women is about the male and female gender roles and all of that other stuff. People feel like women are supposed to be this, the nurturers, and stay home. Women are supposed to be manly and handle all the hard. Women I can't, can't be at home. Yeah. To stay home. I can't be at home. It gotta, takes two incomes nowadays to raise a family. Another thing that that I thought was jacked up too is like Lil P doesn't have a job that pays that much to, to have to let him be able to take care of all those bills. You know, and then like, who? Where is she is from? Hot. Because They're you would think if she she would be unready pampered. to love if she would have found a man that could pay her bills. <laughs> I don't see. Pampered. I think that's like a gold digger. To mentality. me, that's what it is. Yeah, exactly. You know, because I think when you love somebody, you would do that stuff. I don't think that's submitting though, but I think you would do that stuff anyway. And you share the housework and the mm -hmm. keeping of the kids and pitching in on the bills and stuff. I don't know. These newfangled people. Can I find this? this interesting too because even with cooking a lot of i see a lot of guys on facebook and instagram like they they're great cooks they're mm -hmm. chefs you know they enjoy they cook good yeah so it's like i don't even think people acknowledge or recognize what they're doing she is really i gotta watch that i used to watch it but that's the most of the people connection. that come on ready to love they have careers mm -hmm. because when he introduced them he said they're all successful okay why would you want to give up your career for a man? I would never. It, you can be a mom and still work. Most moms have to. You know, I'm so. going to have to start watching that again. That's crazy. So she going to end up that alone. Up? It's on, on the oh, DVR. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not on what channel. It's, it's on Oprah. On the DVR, that's where I watch it. Um, but it comes on Friday and that just tripped me out. I was like, that's I never seen that. She before. is. I got to see that because she. She's, she gonna end up, watch. They gonna get rid of her. Cause them men gonna be offended. Some people are too high maintenance for them. They gonna get, they gonna get rid then of her. Like you can, if you can take care of yourself, why do you need somebody yeah. else to, to handle yeah. that for you? Just enjoy their company. Just be able to be in that relationship. You don't have to have somebody hand for you or yeah. do this and that. Like, it's like, like if you're comfortable this. being on your own, taking care of yourself on your own, just uh, meet somebody. Obviously she's she ready for like love, but she ain't gonna now. find nothing on that show. Why is that gonna get rid of her? I'll be telling y'all in a couple of weeks. Be <laughs> taking care of that already. Yeah, work. that's what it seemed like. Well, maybe she, her parents probably spoiled her. She seemed like she was spoiled. Okay, but, but she then your parents she has a job spoiled now. you. Then you, your parents must be rich. How she know she gonna meet somebody rich or somebody that just literally want her to lay up on her butt while they do everything for yeah. her? Yeah. Because you don't really meet. And what woman just want to be in the house? Nobody. Nothing. Nobody. Well, people I mean, going insane because of this uh, coronavirus. Yeah, they trying to get trying outside. To get out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What yeah. is wrong with us? Insane the membranes. <laughs> okay. um, and I didn't see this. I don't know if this is on like Kevin Hart's show or if he. Oh, his, uh, he had the stand up uh, called No Fucks Given. But apparently, he made a disrespectful comment about. Well, his I mean, he was talking about. I mean, it's his daughter, I get it, but he was saying how, telling the story of how he was talking to his, uh, his daughter about how she liked it, this little boy or whatever, and she was like, no, I'm not into him now, I like somebody else, like I have a crush on somebody. She's not saying she's dating any of these boys, just her telling her that I have a crush on these boys, and he was like, she's got whole tendencies, like she's, she got them from him, he cheated on his wife. He cheated on his new wife. If she was having a baby, she got them tendencies from you, Kevin. <laughs> but see, this is my thing, is that... I don't think a father should ever say Yeah, that, I mean, right? he, people are saying, you know, it was just jokes. You know, I get it. Yeah, I like dark humor sometimes. But anyways, this, I feel like as long as, like, I hate that the fact that the stigma is put on girls. Like, she isn't even out in that world yet. Her dad is I think already he meant that for her, a joke. He meant it for a joke, but the fact that you would even put that out there, that's why they call girls hoes. If you dated it more than one person, they consider you a hoe. While all these men out here fucking any and everything without 
anything without any kind of uh, accountability or anything. Well, she but got called to a hoe for well, dating a hoe like too. Because he should have cheated on everybody. Every wife he ever had and probably every girlfriend he had. Well, all she literally did was went from Say, liking, liking, liking one, one boy to, to liking another. another. She wasn't dating any, she was just telling But I thought that that's the way the world person. works anyway. I yeah. thought you yeah. like this person, then you may say, hey, something about him I don't like. Yeah. Then you figure out you like somebody like, else. Yeah, I'm not cool with that's him. Just like like that's just the way life is. That's just the truth. Like, I mean, that's for anybody, anybody, whether you're a boy or a girl. But why are girls put with that stigma of being labeled a hoe mm -hmm. or a floozy or fast for us having normal attractions to boys or whoever we like? I think that's wrong. And it's especially coming from men when they're the biggest hoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Blackish, actually, the episode uh, this past week, too, to where Dar Diane was posting, you know, like kind of sexy pictures on Instagram. And well, really, what it is is her body looks nice. She was posting normal pictures. Yeah, but you know, like the poking out the bud and the, you know, how normal do, pictures, you know. Um, and they made a big fuss about it with, with her. But the son, Jack, actually, why you jump like that? Lena said, God put men on earth to be fruitful. Be fruitful. Oh, so you mean that they got to be fruitful when if they have women? Said, and they got to impregnate multiple women? Like, that makes them hope. And then right? that, that's saying, that was when the earth first started. He don't want y'all to be few for no more. It's enough people on the earth. <laughs> that was when he was trying to fill the earth. It's you full. Say, it's full, y'all. Yeah, it's full. Now. Yeah, it's, it's now. full. He didn't mean that forever. <laughs> that's funny. He did not mean that forever. But anyway, the son, Jack, had uh, posted a picture of his shirt off, you know, he was sweaty, he was playing basketball, and they didn't see anything wrong with that. So, again, the whole double standard. That's wrong, too. Yeah, and the, the episode, the daughter Diane mentioned it, like, how come it's okay for him to do it, but it's not okay for me to do it. At least she it. had all her clothes on. Yeah. Exactly. And so, you know, that's, that's weird, too, but you know what? People's always going to judge you whether you're doing right or whether you're doing wrong. I just say that everybody do whatever as long as you don't do nothing to me. And then who in the hell is the boy sleeping with if they ain't messing yes, with the girl? they gotta be sleeping with a girl so while she's getting away the so bag, he out here being fruitful. Yes, so like, who, unless he's who, being fruitful. <laughs> the LBGT. We were gonna talk about that. Oh, I'm sorry. Do that in there, well, hell. Yeah. Let's go ahead and talk about it. We can go ahead and talk about it now. Uh, so go ahead, lead us because this is one of your toughest ones to discuss. Well, like, because I have a lot of LBGTQ people that I associate with that I'm cool with. And it's funny, the narrative to me, especially after, you know, uh, the Dwayne Wade situation with his son who now identifies as a girl, he has not had any type, or she has not had any type of hormones or anything. She just wants to identify as a girl and change her name. Still no kind of nothing. And all Dwayne Wayne did was like, you know what? I accept you and I love you. I'm going to support you regardless. That's what he did as a father. And I think more people need to do that. A lot of LBGTQ people commit suicide and hate themselves for being attracted to who they're attracted to. Like, I feel like it's what Dwayne Wade did was great. Like, I'm just, this is my child. I'm like, I'm going to love my child regardless. This is my child. I don't care how they choose to identify. I'm going to love them. And people hate him for that. People hate him for that and call, saying, oh, they're just fruity. They're teaching their kids to be gay and stuff like that. But you know what, to me, excuse me, I'm sorry. No, you're good. When they make them kind of comments, they the ones with the problem. And then how are you going to hate somebody else for the way they raise their kid? If you feel a certain way, raise your kid that way. But you can't walk around and tell the whole but, world how to but, do that. But see, but this is the difference, though. What Dwayne, what Dwayne did was prevent his son from hating himself because he identifies as a girl. He was like, you know what? I'm going to love you regardless. Whereas had him, he lashed out like, no, you're a boy, you're a boy, you're a boy. And killed himself, he would have hated then himself for the rest of Yes. Like, if he had this, something to hurt, like, all he did was accept his child. And then, uh, like, we were, we're going to talk about uh, Mike Tyson and uh, Roy Jones, but Mike talked to Lil Boosie because Lil Boosie made a video attacking Dwayne Wade, talking about, like, don't chop off his dick. Da, da, da. Like, just what? attacking him for letting his son be transgender. And he's like, you you wrong for this. You're wrong for this. But, but, but Lil Boosie also. 
hired a prostitute to give oral sex to his 12 year old son. He literally paid for somebody to sexually well, assault his child. Well, he could have gave his son. Somebody should call him. Right, because he could have gave his son. But the people who are mad at Dwayne Wade and they aren't a little boozy. Because they're prostitutes. Boosie. You should never hook your kid up with no prostitute. I don't care what you want them to be. Don't, you but, shouldn't but, do I that. But, I mean, it shouldn't matter who you love. I'm like, how do, and then I think about this is what I mean about, can't they, in Florida, can't they influence you to be gay? I talked to somebody the other day. I think about this is what I mean about, can they influence you to be gay? I talked to some gay friends of mine, people that are bisexual, people that are they just knew what they liked it. And I think about when I was little, how I figured out what I liked it, I just saw a boy I liked it and I knew I liked it boys. It was not taught to me by my mom, it was not taught to me by my dad. I didn't have to see a bunch of straight couples in order for me to get that influence. I just knew what I liked and I think that's the same for everybody. So for people to say, oh, them having representation, representation in the media or them having roles in television or them just being able to express themselves freely somehow influences children to be that way, no, they're gonna figure it out on their own. You don't you don't be influenced on your sexuality. You cannot influence sexuality. But then people also have to look to who wants to be discriminated against. It, like nobody the same thing exactly. with, with black people only seeing white you know, white families on T V and, you know, vice versa. Exactly. Like, Everybody fought for representation. Yeah. Everyone. Every community. So let me ask you this, Ma, how'd you feel one of your kids was uh no, I still would love my kids. I love my kids now. And some of them is rough. Some of them is rough. I still would love them. You know, but I might would say, hey, gay boy, or hey. That might hurt them. Hey, we'll be joking with each other. All the way we clock on each other. We bad. 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 Because nowadays you really can't tell your kids. They always, like you said, they're going to figure it out on they're their own. They're going to figure it out on their own. And there's nothing you can do about it. There's no influence to it. There is nothing. People just know what they like. It's the same thing for you. Nobody taught you to be straight. Nobody taught you to be gay. Nobody taught you to be bi. All of that is bullshit. So for the fact that people are offended that there are more LBGTQ... This, we, oh, oh, we'll get to the comments in a moment here, but there are, are people that are LBGTQ that need to see that representation the same way we need to see black people representation. Mm -hmm. The same way we need to see same-sex couples representation. Everybody, uh, Asian people, Mexican people, we need all of that. If everybody that's doing this judging and you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that, God then told you, he's the only judge. He's the only and that's judge. why Tupac said, only God can judge me. And that's true for everybody. Because okay, no matter what you're doing, if he disagree with it, you're going to have to deal with him. But us down here, we ain't God. We ain't supposed to be doing all that judging. We're just not supposed to be doing that. All right, let's get but to you, the, you want to respond in the comments? Because we got a lot of comments just from that little segment here. From Leland. <laughs> hey, uh, Leland said, uh, "No, they carrying out of God. They carrying out of God's plan. They're carrying out God's plan. I guess about the guys being fruitful." I already told you what. About we already that. populated. Y'all did that enough. Mm -hmm. um, why people have to let people know their personal sexuality? You don't. And I think that's ridiculous. You don't have to know. But if they want to have represent, if, if there's nothing wrong with seeing a gay couple or or a bisexual couple or anybody in media or movies or TVs, people complaining about that. I think is ridiculous. That's what I was trying to say. There's no need for people and to then, feel offended by And then all these people that. that's so judgmental. Judge your kids and see how they turn out. Okay. And quit Read judging me again because I had something to say then I, I went like. Oh. Uh, well, Leland also says nobody would have an opinion if they didn't air out their business. Like when oh, it comes okay. to Dwayne Wade. Let me, okay, about the whole white people have to let people know about their sexuality. It's kind of hard not to because don't you want to go to a restaurant or out to the movie? <laughs> you know what I mean? If with they see you with your yeah, other, they don't know. So, they, so what they you got to be secluded at home they're going out, going and out. And with Dwayne Wade's situation, the reason why he revealed that is because he understands that there are other families going through that. And that was his way of letting them know you're not alone, not a way for people to come ridicule him. He was trying to help those people that are have the same type of family. And then because I don't they think need he was to see that. That's the kid representation that people, and if you see his daughter out in a dress, you won't freak out. He told you this is what it is. Mm -hmm. You're going to see him in the way. But they shouldn't be saying that because I see people that's probably straight 
dressing weird. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people just a lot of people is just oh, weird. Or 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 young thug angered a lot of people oh. this week. Young thug for dissing Andre 3000 after Andre 3000 gave him a compliment to my son. Uh, he never worked with Andre 3000 because Andre wants his ass kicked and uh, he worked with Elton John because Elton John kissed his ass when really Andre 3000 is just a humble person. He stays to himself. He's not like that. But he gave Young Thug credit and on top of that, uh, Andre was one of the first rappers to be openly wearing fluid chill with his style. But he's not dress. even bi. Or anything. No, he's not. No, it's, it's not his sexual. It's just his style of dress. And like Young Thug nice. wears dresses and stuff like that. He wears young girl. Young Thug is a little. Well, but not Andre, but he had the nerve to try to diss Andre when you know you took influence from Andre. From you know you took influence from him. And he did it like manly, like masculine. Mm -hmm. he, he wore a like dress looking Scottish. still looking. Yeah, like the Scottish. <laughs> wearing a kilt. I hate to he say it, but back in the day, all the men wore dresses. Yeah. They and, I, and, I, and, and those halter tops. And I those halter oh tops. God. But back when Jesus was around, all you did was crack stuff on you. You know, everybody had a whole dress. Yeah. was wearing and you like we said mom Me and I would love him and invite his boyfriend or significant other. Now, I ain't having all that. I don't play that. A girl ain't gonna be with a boy in the house, and a boy ain't gonna Are be with scared? a boy. Hold on. All the, oh, let no, me not tell, no, tell on myself. Tell yeah, this. tell on yourself. Not myself, oh. but I have brothers. Oh, them yeah. Hey, I couldn't say stop. nothing. Hey. Yeah. But it was old. It's like, hey. you know, years ago. You said, you know, that word. No, packing on that word. <laughs> Well, they need to be roasting them. I they, think it's wrong. Why do I even care? Like, why do I even care? Y'all said she was 
not attractive. Y'all didn't like her. That she done found somebody that like her. And they say stuff like, oh, he using her for money. Like, but he got money. She money using him for his money. They can use each other for their money. <laughs> yeah, like, let, <laughs> let, let, her, let that girl be happy. Let, let everybody that finds a happiness be happy. Yo, Beetlejuice <laughs> from, uh, Beetlejuice from, uh, the, uh, what's his name? Bill Murray? Uh, no. Yeah, him. The one who used to be on Murray. He's got a disability and people used to crack on his looks all the time. He got a fucking wife. Let that man be happy. Let Gabrielle be, be happy. It's somebody for everybody. It's somebody for everybody. Let folks be happy. That's why do thing. people like to try to rain on other people's parade? Because you, you know, know why? Sense. They sitting up there faking like they happy, but they yeah, so miserable. miserable. People, people that get on the internet got to comment on everything. Them is the ones that's unhappy. Yep, that's true. Misery loves If you coming. notice, when I comment on your post, I'm either giving you a like or I'm saying something nice. If I don't have nothing nice to say, I don't say nothing at all. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Move on. And now. that's Why the do you same way somebody down, especially for a happy you know? moment of getting engaged. Why yeah. would you want to tear that girl down? Yeah, because makes you know, no sense. Everybody deserves somebody. Everybody. I don't want my somebody. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> All right, moving well, along. There's too many somebody's looking and trying to get with somebody. No, uh -uh. All right, yeah. I didn't watch the fight, but the fight was... Yes, the Howard Stern. Thank you, Leland. I was couldn't figure out his name. Howard Stern. Beetlejuice used to be in Howard Stern. I couldn't figure out Howard Stern's name. Oh, <laughs> look at Leland. He <laughs> always <you>. comes <laughs> Yeah, he's, he has a disability. He's weird looking, yeah. Damn, he, he, I didn't he, see he, him. He, he has a disability, but he used to be on, like, movies and Howard Stern. He's... Made a name for himself off of him looking funny. So okay. congrats to and him. he got him somebody, so that's good. Yeah, and you did. know what's crazy is how people define beauty. Yes, exactly. You what's know, what's just, just like that Twilight Zone episode y'all yes. talk about? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she was like ugly. Yeah, she was she beautiful. Was beautiful. Yes. Yeah, and they were and they were the ugly ones. ones. Yeah, yeah. But this is why I always say that beauty is subjective. What you find attractive. I might not find attractive, and, and same for everybody. If somebody thinks you're attractive, doesn't mean somebody else won't. Like we're all attractive to somebody, and we're all unattractive to somebody. That's just life. For me, I can definitely say that. I'll say this a thousand times before personality. But I don't like people like, oh, that that person, nah, they're they're not beautiful. They're ugly. It's yeah. Like who who gave you the right to say that? Right, right. right. Just because they're somebody, not attractive to you, somebody yeah. like it. Yeah. yeah. And then they tell you they ugly, and the next thing you know, they be dating the guy that you talked to. <laughs> exactly. The one you know, they be ugly. And then they go and they go after yes. people. People do do that. Yes. That's true. That's true. And that thing that I, that gets to me too, because I work in this, I work in the field. I work with those who are you know mentally and physically yes. disabled. Mm -hmm. The thing that drives me crazy is people people consider to be normal. It's like, how do you know what's normal? Yeah. Like, we could be the ones that's abnormal. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. That really drives me crazy because a lot of people that have intellectual disabilities are very intelligent. Mm -hmm. Very. Tell they me this. People. I want to know this, and I don't know if you have to answer this. How, if they disabled, do they have a sex drive and always want to have a boyfriend? That's because that's, like that's, that. na that's nature. It's na natural for your body to hit maturity and you get those urges. It's natural. They can't help it. I guess the same way saying, an animal would. But I guess what I'm saying, like, if nothing else makes sense to them, how does that work? <laughs> doesn't make sense but to I'm them. Gonna say but, that. Be, but remember how you had clients that would, like, do stuff? But I'm just saying. But anyway, yeah. it's just weird to me, you yeah. know. She only knows that because I used to have and I used to take care of clients that I lived with. And so with that being said, my family was walking because it was like technically our house together. Uh -huh. So that's how she knows a lot of things from my previous Oh yeah, no, I'm not talking about her job now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know nothing about, about the job. Is I just know I I'm see just a lot of handicapped you know people I mean? like how the together. Like to they, they don't know how to they, act. Both of them getting disability checks, but can walk and move. Not like me, I can't get around. But I'm just saying, they both getting checks, they dating, having babies and stuff. If they disabled, what is their disability? <laughs> you know, I'm just confused. I mean, right, even, even disabled people. Mike Tyson yeah, and Earl Jones Jr. 
I didn't watch the fight. I thought it was great. It was like, I was thought it was great. Here. It was. It turned out to be a draw, but I think clearly Mike won that fight. And I'm gonna say this was the most mature I ever seen Mike in his whole boxing career. Like the way he acted in that ring, he was just like he tried. It, it looked like Mike was trying not to hurt Roy because Roy was getting tired. Roy like, was throwing. Roy was he, getting he was tired. Like, oh, this was kind of funny. He was on the head. He was. I guess he wanted to get his hands in. But all he got to do is work that one arm. Yeah. Oh, no, he yeah. didn't get to never get that hook in, but he was working that one arm. They, they both did really they good. They both did really good, but I, I got to commend Mike for the maturity that he, he was really doing. matured. He, I told you, he, I said he was so mature. Like He looked he like he was trying not to hurt Roy. He, he wasn't aiming for his face. He was mainly doing body shots. And even when he hit him past the bell, he like hugged him. And after the fight, he was like apologizing for some of his hits. Mike has really matured. Mature, like mm -hmm. really mature. That's the most mature I ever seen. Right yeah, but my, my, uh, or Roy was dancing around like he was like, I'm gonna get this. Get over there. Look at his hand. He threw the rounds up. I did. think he wanted to swing the other They both arm. did really good. Yeah, they did. They but it was working. I, every time I looked at him, that one arm was the only thing moving. <laughs> and he was running from Mike. Mike was coming too. Oh, it was good. I yeah, it was it. good. It was, it was a really good fight. Good. It was a good fight. Was I'm glad nobody got hurt. Two legends that were respecting each good. other and seeing that and they, happen. Were they both, with each both other. retired and came out retired? Yeah, yeah, but see, the thing is, is that uh, Roy was only has only been retired for like four oh, years. Three! Mike, three Mike said three, it, and Mike three. been retired for 15. 15. Mike's been retired for 15 years. Remember, Mike fought in the 80s, whereas Roy fought in the late 90s, early 2000s. I think I remember his last fight. In the 90s, did he? Yeah, he did, but he started in the yeah, oh, and oh, yeah. yeah. And, and, and I said that also shows maturity. Like they was hugging so much, and Mike wasn't trying to do anything. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mike, what a he was working that one. He never got that off, but he was working that one arm and running. Oh, that was yeah. a good fight. It was, yeah. it was a good fight. It was a good fight. Yeah. I'm gonna have to pull. It's on a DVR. Yeah, it is. You gotta watch. It was good. I thought Snoop. Oh my God, Snoop is the commentator. Mike, Mike is sixty. No, Mike is fifty-four. Oh, who's sixty? Uh, nobody. Uh, uh, Roy Jones is fifty-one, and Mike is fifty-four. They're only three years apart. Oh. But Mike has been fighting a lot longer than Roy. I've seen an article saying that Snoop Dogg replaced Little Wayne. Was he? Oh Wayne my God, Snoop did, did an awesome job. He, he was did. hilarious. He did. He did. He did. He did. She was in the audience yeah. because they kept talking about her. That's how I know she was there. You have to watch her. Because you know, lights. she related they to Snoop. They didn't come in my room until Mike oh, yeah, but her. They, they didn't show her, I don't think. But he, no, but he kept, talking, he shot they kept her talking about her. Yeah. But yeah, it was, yeah, Mike said it was all for the money. It was, but they put on a good ass they show did. for their fans. Like, I was a fan of Mike and I was a fan of Roy. And I thought that was good for them to come together. But Mike, like, really showed a lot of maturity. It's it was different from I've ever what seen. What up, Devin? <laughs> but yeah, it was a good fight. I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. Snoop though was so hilarious and stuff. He was like, "This is my two uncles fight. We gotta call ground yeah, yeah. break them up." Yeah, like, he was yeah, saying yeah, the funniest yeah, stuff. It was, it was really hilarious. Good. Okay, so pause real quick. So DW Six is uh, Devin. Y'all remember Devin? When I, used to, I went to like every school. I oh, did. Yeah. 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 Um, King. Yes. Yes. Every school. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I remember. Okay. <laughs> So uh, our final topic, I'm going to take give this to you, Mom. Why do people <laughs> give you things they know are broken? As far as like what you say to them, they don't want it no more. You say to them, oh, does it work? Yeah, I'm just getting rid of it because That's I got I another one. That's I got another one. Okay, but if you know it didn't work, then go on and take it to your trash. Because I'm just going to have to eventually take it to my trash. Why do I have to travel things far to find out it doesn't so work? So that sounds like something personal. Have you experienced it? I have experienced it. I have. A oh. few times. But I'm just saying, when you have something, if it don't work, don't give it away. Just go straight to the front and <laughs> throw it in your <laughs> trash. Yeah. Tell them you got to get it fixed. But then they might as well just buy a new one. I prefer to buy all new everything. I'm not buying anything used. 
But if you gonna sell something that partially no, works, no, 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 they didn't sell it to me. That's they what they're gonna give they somebody. Give some, if they're gonna give you something, your stuff you buy though. Even stuff like like that's yeah, like, true. Even if you go if you go to the Goodwill, that's the same thing. Exactly, you, know, you, you know, go to the get Goodwill. You know, exactly, but then it's that's, like that. that's up to me. No, I was talking about the Goodwill. Oh, but I'm just saying that will be up to me. But. If I say, does it work? And you say, yeah, I just got me another one. That's why I don't want it. Don't tell me it does, and then I get it home and it, it doesn't. doesn't. That's all. I'm just saying, go straight to your trash, because I don't want your trash. I'm going right. to throw it away, too. Well, now I have to do that broken chair I got. <laughs> <laughs> don't give it to me. Just take it right on and out to the trash. So something that I wanted to talk about that I didn't, we didn't put down the topic, but I've been saying this for like the past few weeks about Thanksgiving. Why do we celebrate Thanksgiving? I think then the end and tragedy. Yeah, it was so a why horrible are we thing. Celebrating the People I just love an excuse to, eat, to food. eat food. That's all. You get a day off and you can cook a bunch of food. I don't think we sh should be celebrating. I don't think it's just a whole yeah, community, a whole, a, community a, a, of people. A whole yeah. Like I just don't. I just think that's terrible. She's saying this will be all enjoyed that food. But I never say anything about Thanksgiving. I didn't post about Thanksgiving. No, I didn't either. I didn't say anything about Thanksgiving. When we did our prayer, I didn't say anything about Thanksgiving. But I showed the her up that ham. Mama, that ham is Well, then what, what we going to do about Christmas? Because everybody knows okay. Jesus Christ was not born on December 25th. And then Christmas. I see a lot of Santa Claus. Snowman, gingerbread, gingerbread mm -hmm. houses, Ooh, South Pole, North Pole. Everybody. Where is baby Jesus? Where <laughs> is baby he Jesus? He wasn't born in December. I don't understand Christmas. I, like, I celebrate it. But because you get free gifts, traditions. But I don't get Seven anything. Said traditions. That's what it is. It's but traditions. it's terrible. Devin, damn it. Damn it. Yeah. it doesn't make sense. Just say. That we about to say we having this holiday, so people. How about this? this yeah, is look, I, so I, I look at it. Yeah. Is, I look at it like a Sunday dinner type of thing. You know what? Why don't we go ahead and have? Dinner, a, have why don't we have a celebration day for slavery? Let's just go ahead and say let's, green, let's green, celebrate. Green. That's that's but they said no, they made that a holiday. no. That's that's for slavery ending, right? Oh, yeah. we want to celebrate. We want to celebrate being in slavery. So why should we celebrate Thanksgiving? <laughs> if we're not celebrating being in slavery, so why we celebrate Thanksgiving? Stop and think about it. Ooh, it. Yeah, like, no. like that entertainment. I was like, why would we celebrate the slaughter of a whole and oh, community? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I agree. And then Christmas, I want to see baby Jesus, damn it. I'm tired of seeing Santa Claus and the little snowman and those cute, you know, all of it is propaganda anyway. It's, it's dry, it drives me insane. But I used to love that when I was younger and actually last year. Now she just got woke. <laughs> you know, woke and got woke. Like, this is wrong. <laughs> You see how uh, Washington Redskins, they took Redskins out of their name? They're just Washington? Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So all that stuff I bought, Daddy. Yep. Well, you can still use He gonna it. keep it. It's like this memorabilia mm -hmm. from an old time. Which I don't think that stuff is terrible. No, I agree. I absolutely agree. I, I don't think it's right now. I don't. That's why I don't post Thanksgiving stuff. I'm grateful to be able to have a day off. I'm grateful to be able to eat a bunch of food with family. But I do not celebrate what it was originally for. Or I'll be uh, like Happy Turkey Day, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Happy Turkey Day or something like that. But I do not celebrate what the reason why Thanksgiving was created. I think that's bullshit. And you're yeah. right. Uh, and then so slaughtered the indigenous community. Yes. The true rightful owners of America. You know, I, I don't agree with the actual meaning behind just like i don't celebrate columbus day i celebrate indigenous they don't sell day. slavery death but what i'm saying what if it was like whether there's a holiday to celebrate black people being slaves will we be celebrating uh, they we celebrate Confederate monuments all over the South. That is celebration of enslaving black people. Why do you think they do civil war reenactments? That's celebration of enslaving but black people. But also, like, Black Friday originated from I, what I was taught. I'm not sure if that's accurate. I heard that was true. On slaves. On, slaves, on that Friday. And they called it Black Friday. Yeah. I'm not sure if I, I heard that too. I verified that. I gotta look into it. Well, they know. don't want you to know that. But I can, but I, I'm a good fact checker. I can, I can. But how do people out. know what facts are? Were you around during that time? No, it, it goes by actual. I don't trust of none of that. From stuff. that time, no, nobody from around that time. <laughs> no, fool, just like nobody from uh, around biblical time. I read the Bible. I believe the Bible. Ain't nobody here from Listen, that. Some people question the Bible. 
I do. So I'm one of those people. So if you question the Bible, who's to say that all your fact checking for other things is correct? Because I have reliable sources. I don't. I people, can't go back to 1500 BC. BC people that probably got references for the Bible too. Girl, fine. Girl, fine to you. Shoot, you believe in something that's You're not to both of you. You're not to both of you. I'm just saying. No one knows. I think that's something that happened within ten years. No one knows. Two million. No one knows the fact that this thing was there. I definitely think that's something that happened in the last twenty to thirty, forty, fifty years. I can't say that that was something that happened two million years ago. Okay, so you which is exactly why I don't trust religion because they have a different Bible for every religion. I don't trust religion. How do we know which one of them are right? That's why I don't trust religion. But that could be for anything. It, it could be for anything. That's what I'm saying. Anything. But I'm not talking about stuff that happened millions of years ago. I'm talking about stuff I'm that happened saying, in the last I'm hundred saying years. I'm in, in general. The last hundred, the last hundred years. Stuff. But that's the, you have proof of that. We had a woman that lived with us for multiple years that was almost a hundred years Whoa. old. Granny. Because she sometimes she don't tell the truth. That's why. <laughs> Let me tell you this it. though. Some people probably don't have can't doesn't have the the correct memory. Like me, I probably I can't tell you what happened ten years ago That's from my true. own I life. Tell, I have a sharp memory. She always. Yeah, I remember what you say. She always say that. Girl. What did I say on Thanksgiving? Day? I have to say it for the people. I do. I have a very sharp memory. But I don't. I, I always say that. I, I do. I, I do. I hate. I wish I could forget some shit. Honestly, I don't like it. I don't like it, but I have a sharp memory. Your memory is pretty good. Thank you. I disagree. Mm -hmm. Of course. Anyways, <laughs> she was trying to tell me stuff that I know that happened, and she was a little bitty ass kid. Ma, you, you know that stuff shapes a person when they grow up. You remember stuff that you feel like really shapes you when you grow up. You remember the stuff that <laughs> granny did to you when you was little, don't you? Nope. Okay, y'all. <laughs> Anyways, we got anything else on the repertoire? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, especially because I'm out of I'm out of wine, y'all. We got to go. Ah, she said I'm out of wine. Oh, both of y'all gonna go. I just got water. I think that's all you had was water or pop. Oh, oh, you had that Paul Mason. That Paul Mason? What? Right, oh. Okay, y'all, is it over? Let's go. <laughs> well, thank you guys for so. tuning in tonight. See you all in two weeks. Bye. What was that? Yeah, what was that? 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 What was